even with the keto and paleo and low carb diet crazes that have been around for years now, so many people I talk to aren't eating enough protein. The US RDA for protein is 0 0.8 grams per kilogram body weight per day. Essentially, if you take your body weight and divide it by two, that's about what it is. But most people aren't even really eating enough of that, aren't, aren't even getting that minimum amount. And that's not even accurate for adults as we get older. We need more protein. So let me just focus on two things with protein and why it's so important and why you probably need to be eating more of it. The first is blood sugar control. Now, if you're getting sugar cravings, if you're getting that afternoon drop in energy after you eat lunch, what's happening is your blood sugar is probably not being adequately controlled. The best way to uh, control blood sugar, one of the best ways is to eat more protein. And when I do diet recalls with patients and I ask them, you know, just 24 hour diet recall, what'd you have for breakfast? What'd you have for dinner? What'd you have for lunch? What I find over and over is people are eating too much carbs and not enough protein. So here's your assignment. You should be eating protein with every snack and every meal. That alone can give you more sustained energy throughout the day, even without calculating how many grams of protein overall you're eating. Just making sure you're eating protein with every snack and every meal. Super important. The second thing is the US RDA for protein has a cutoff of 18 years old and older, meaning the government thinks that for all adults, doesn't matter if you're 18 or 85, that you, we all have the same need for protein or minimum amount of protein that we need. And the research shows that's not true. As we get older, what happens is we can develop a risk for muscle wasting called sarcopenia. And when that happens and you, you lose muscle mass, you can, your balance decreases and you increases your risk for falls. If you combine that with osteoporosis and you have osteoporosis also, it's a condition called osteosarcopenia. People with osteosarcopenia have a 180% increased risk of dying than compared to people who actually don't have that combination of diseases. And what the research shows in terms of as we get older, what protein requirements do we need to maintain muscle mass, you know, obviously in addition to exercise, is a minimum of about probably 1.2 grams of protein per kilogram body weight per day, all the way up to two grams per kilogram body weight per day. Now, I know in the US we don't deal in kilograms and you know, understanding you know, what does that really mean for me can be difficult. So I created a blog that walks you through the steps so you can calculate based on your body weight exactly what your protein requirement is. And then also there's a link to a protein handout so you can understand how much protein different foods have. I'm gonna post a link to that blog uh, below. So click on that and while you're at the MBI website, make sure to sign up for our newsletter where you can get health tips and information like this directly into your uh, inbox and check out the podcast. I have some great interviews uh, in there and solo episodes uh, with me and uh, great information for you uh, to take action, uh, to take control of your health. I'll see you here next week. Have a great week. Click on the blog link below and learn more about how much protein you need.